The vestibular headband was designed for educators. Sometimes you're educating students on a clinical rotation, or perhaps you're teaching a course as a continuing education instructor. This headband is also useful if you're a professor or educator in the academic environment, teaching students how to assess and treat patients with dizziness. For all these reasons, and for mentorship for new colleagues who are learning how to do vestibular care, you may want to have a vestibular headband on hand. The vestibular models that are attached to this headband are just smaller versions of the vestibular apparatuses that we have available as well. When they're attached to the headband, you can have the headband be worn by one person, while another person who's practicing can move that person through testing and treatment procedures. This is very useful because you can actually see the otoconia moving through the canal and better understand the timing of each position. Let's go ahead and put this headband on our partner's head. We're gonna put it right over top and get this back part all the way underneath the back of the head before we turn the knob clockwise to tighten it. In order to move this part, we're gonna go ahead and rotate the ball head knob at the base of one of the vestibular apparatus models counterclockwise to loosen it. Then we're gonna rotate the model so that the directional arrow, which I can feel underneath, is pointed forward, matching the direction of the wearer's head. Next, we're gonna adjust the angle of the model until the small air bubble in our bubble level is right at the center of the circle so that the apparatus is properly positioned in relation to gravity and true anatomy. Once that's properly positioned in relation to gravity and anatomy, we'll tighten up the ball head knob by twisting this knob clockwise. If it's kind of blocked by the headband or something, you can just lift that up a little bit to kind of get it in a different position before we tighten. We're gonna repeat all those steps on the other side to get the other apparatus in its proper position to gravity. Now you're ready to practice positioning your partner into a testing or treatment position. Let's try the Dix Hall Pike and a modified Epley maneuver as an example. First, have your partner sit in the starting position for the Dix Hall Pike, which is long sitting with legs out in front on the treatment table. Next, turn your partner's head 45 degrees to one side. For this example, we'll have the head go to the left and have them lie down while bringing their head into about 30 degrees of extension. Watch the movement of the stones inside of the vestibular apparatus on the left side, noting the time it takes for them to shift position in the posterior canal. Hold the testing position for at least a minute. To move into treatment, turn your partner's head 90 degrees to the right, away from the affected side, maintaining about 30 degrees of extension throughout the head turn. Watch the movement of the stones inside the vestibular apparatus on the left, noting the time it takes them to shift position in the posterior canal. Next, ask your partner to roll onto their right side. Keep their head rotated to the right so that the nose ends up pointed down towards the floor with their chin tucked into flexion toward their collarbone. Watch the movement of the stones inside of the vestibular apparatus on the left as they slide down past the line of sight as if they are moving into the vestibule in the posterior canal. Note the time it takes the stones to shift position. Hold this position for one minute at least. Then ask your partner to come into sitting, keeping their chin tucked toward their chest for at least 20 to 30 seconds. Watch the movement of the stones inside of the vestibular apparatus, paying a special attention to any crystals that still remain in that left posterior canal. You can repeat this with any assessment, such as the sideline test, supine roll test, or deep head hang test. You can also repeat this with any treatment maneuver such as the Samant Laboratory Maneuver, the Barbecue Roll, Gufani, Apiani, Kim, Lee, or Kasani, just to name a few. As they say, practice makes perfect, or as I prefer, progress. There's no better choice than our vestibular headband when it comes to actively visualizing otoconia moving through during training on testing and treatment maneuvers for VPVV. Order yours today to get all the benefits of this one-of-a-kind educational tool.